Well, good day, Tubes. How's she going? Pretty good here, pretty good here. Getting a little feeling better now from whatever we had there, which is probably COVID stuff. Uh, but feeling better now anyway. Still a little bit cough every once in a while. Feel just a little bit clogged up, but everything else seems good. So, uh, anyways, today we're going to do a bit of work on this little homemade tank for the old uh, Empire engine. The old hit and miss engine. We're going to we're going to try to braise this stuff together. I don't know if that's a good idea or not. I should be able to get it hot enough to to braise this together and it should hold. I, I do kind of like the the uh, arc welding better, but this uh, well, I haven't done any brazing for a while, so we'll be brazing and try to do some brazing. And uh, here we go. So hopefully I got enough gas left in my tank over here. Um, I know the acetylene was getting a little bit down. Let's see here. I'll have to roll this all out, out after, but uh, she's kind of buried in here, but uh, I think I see a little bit on the gauge there. Yeah. That one's not too bad either. So actually that one's up really good still. So uh, anyways, let's get her rolled out here and uh, We'll uh, see what we can do to braise some of this together here. And then uh, just holding it with these things. If I let these out, she just rolls away. So uh, we're just holding her over there. We'll just have to really be careful that we don't uh, get her adjusted. I got a little bit of a gap down here. I think that's just because the way it was cut on that saw. Couldn't do a perfect good 45 with that thick. That was well, four inch, you know, so that's a pretty... You got to think that's more than a four inch cut there. That's got to be at least a... At least a six inch cut, so that saw did pretty good, really. Uh, let's see here, measure this roughly. So we're, yeah, about five and a half inch rough, almost five and three quarter cut there, so that did pretty good. Uh, there was one comment there, oh man, that saw should have cut that easy. I'm like, well, yeah, it did, but you gotta think, I'm cutting it lengthwise almost, you know, or, you know, down quite a bit, so that's taking up quite a bit more uh, real estate, we'll say, so. But I think I got her lined up where I want her, and uh, we'll get the torch going here and start uh, hopefully welding it together. I might have to change to my bigger tip, maybe on uh, oh, my rods too, maybe on uh, the gun here. But uh, we're gonna try her and see what happens. I haven't done any brazing for quite a while, and. Uh, See what we can do. I better get these guys out too, because it does get really bright. It could sort of be hard on your eyes. So we'll get these ready. And uh, I'd like to be able to sit to do this, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to or not. I'm going to need. Uh, no, I'm not going to be able to sit to do this. It's just a little more steadier, right? Better get a little guy out here. Start with a new one, I guess. Whoa. It's been a while since I done some braze, and I did some on that tank there. It's not too bad though, really. It's it's fairly easy. I think this moved on me a little bit though, already. There, stay there. Stay. Stay. All right, get this guy lit up here. And it'll probably blow out on me. Yep. <laughs> ah. All right, we'll just start down here, I guess. Flashing down. I might need uh, my bigger tip. This might not get hot enough. Oh, it should, but. Oh. You kidding me?
This would have been really great for a TIG welder, this stuff here, but I don't have one of them. Too bad. It's uh, definitely hot. Yeah, if I can hold her there somehow, we can do in and around here a little bit. Ah. Uh -huh. 
so fine. Oh. a minute. Seems like it's going pretty good. Almost been through a whole rod already, but that's all right. She's four. Ooh, that gap's getting bigger. I should have welded this to be shut here too, I guess. That's not going to be too good. That uh, definitely opened up because of the heat. It might shrink back, but I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it. Well, we'll see if we can get this closed up here a little bit. This is actually, I'm running this tip too hard, I think, here.
about a eighth of an inch gap I'm trying to fill here and it's actually going pretty good. I think that'll work. Whether it holds gas, I don't know, but... Alright, let's shut her down a minute. Let her cool a little bit. That's not too bad. That actually worked pretty good. Get you on the other side here. Oh, we need a bigger gap to fill now. Oh boy. Uh, well, we'll do what we can, I guess. What we got. by the, how hot the fingers are getting. I never thought I'd use so many.
left here. hard to fill that up. here, I think. do more damage than that. Wow. That's actually not sucking too bad. It's coming really hot right now though. I didn't tell you that one. I'm going to have to let that cool a little bit. A lot of this uh, goopy stuff from kind of smells like like styrofoam melting. Got a lot of that junk on here. I'll have to take it down and sandblast it up and clean it off. But uh, I think that'll do that part anyway. It's still a little bit, a little bit of a gap there I don't really like. I don't know if I can get her a whole lot better though. I'll have to try to build it up a bit more maybe. I'd like to see what it looks like on the inside. It's gonna be really hot though. Well, she's braised together in there too, so that's good. Yeah, that's really hot. It's melting the table. Okay, we better leave her up there for a bit. Ooh, yeah, that's hot. Woo! And she got her smoky in here a bit, too. That's not so good. But uh, hopefully the smoke rises. I'm all right down here. That's definitely hot. And whether it'll hold back fuel or not, I don't know. I don't know. It should. Should. Not to wait until she cools down and then we'll pour a little bit in the top here maybe and see if it if it holds it better to do fuel than just like water because water will just maybe like fuels I think smaller molecules so it's it'll seep through the areas a lot easier but I think we should have her but boy, boy that's radiating some pretty good heat there I'd go throw it outside in the snow but I don't want it to, to crack or break or anything right so there's a couple of little gold nuggets there. Okay, gold nuggets. A couple of them that, you know, didn't get her quite hot enough there and they just kind of right off again, right? So that's all about all we can do. Well, I'm going to have to let that cool down for at least a half an hour until we can look at her a little closer. But uh, then I'll have to get her sandblasted. Now the end caps, um, I could braise this end cap onto this thing, I guess, for my filler. 
But the end caps, whenever I put them onto the, the tank here, I think I'm just going to MIG weld them on. And uh, that, should, that should be all right. Just leave that there. Now this is, uh, this is going to be the end cap here, so I want to... Uh, to if I can this to stand up here maybe we'll braze this guy right into here too yeah that'll work it might get really hot there but uh, if we braze it here and then this end I'll just weld them I think mig weld them right on and then we got the old look of the uh, you know let's fire this baby up here again
the round circle is so, so thick, so much colder. gonna be really hot too <laughs> but I think that'll do and uh, yeah it's still pretty hot too I don't know if we'll be testing these today but in the other end I've got to and I think I'm gonna MIG weld it the other side I just got to weld a little plate around it uh, it just feel better I think with the inside of the tank it should be MIG welded I think let me just grab that little plate I'll show you so this little guy uh, going to need to, uh, I've got this little plate to weld on. I, I just think that these two things are probably too thick for that. So I'll probably MIG weld this. I'll just put that down like that and then just and get that kind of smoothed off there nice and then that'll go on the inside of the tank. So you won't even see it, hopefully. But I think I'll MIG weld that. This has got to be cleaned up a little better. And uh, that'll get MIG welded together, but I think uh, that's a good start anyways. I'd like to look into this tank and test it for some some leaking, but uh, melting the table. <laughs> uh, I don't know whether I'll be able to, uh, to check this tank right tonight. I'll have to let her cool off maybe a little bit first. That's still going to be, uh, eh, it's pretty warm. Yeah. So, and then uh, around here, I think, where we're MIG welding this on, We'll just bzzz, those on the outside too. I think that'd be all right. MIG welds, it's all right, but this is a little bit nicer because you can get the stuff to kind of flow a bit, if you know what I mean. But I don't think I don't I don't think I got enough rods left to to uh, braise these all together. So um, I guess that's about as far as I can get today with that. Then, anyways, it's a good start. But yeah, the MIG weld's not bad, but you could have little holes and. It might leak out the ends of one of these things. It might be all right too, I don't know. But uh, yeah, I guess that's about all we can do today. I gotta get out of the smoke here anyways. Holy smokes. <laughs> look at the smoke. She's a little bit smoky. Let's have a look. Look at the smoke. <laughs> oh boy. Anyways, that wasn't too bad. We did pretty good, I think. Oh, should have a fan in there. Or some something to vent that out. That's not too good. I haven't really got a an exhaust fan. I guess some of that'll come out with a door wide open. But anyways, I guess that's about all I can do in there today. Really should be doing my welding outside and stuff. But oh, it's winter here, and I still like to do projects. But I don't know if I'll be able to do too much more of this this time of year, anyways. But uh, that's a good start. She should she shouldn't leak I don't think but uh, we'll have to do the the test to her maybe next time we get back together after the smoke clears out of here oh. get out get out get out smoke <laughs> little smoky this stuff but uh, oh well it, it's the way she is yeah welding in here I don't know if that's such a good thing uh, I don't know I don't know <laughs> but uh, anyways there we go I guess that's it for today well I'm gonna get to better air although. Even just having the door open for a few minutes here, it's kind of cleared itself out a little bit. Still a little smoky up in the top there, but especially if you're standing up tall, it's 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 not great. But uh, I'll let this cool off here a little bit. Yeah, it's still a bit warm yet. Let her cool down, and uh, we'll check her later. So, and then we'll get the maybe get the well if I can get a table found out here. Um, 
I better weld this other thing outside, I guess, here. Yeah, if I can get a table found, that would work. But anyways, lots of fun. That's it for today. Thanks again for watching. We'll catch you all later, and you guys have a good day.